good things happen. And huge swing by Kayla Kaiser because that set was in front of her and she was able to unload on it. Jenna Story serving for Asics Kiva as players caught in the net that time. And it'll be another point for Asics Kiva. Kaiser very fast in transition. Player that wins the gaps. And that is what Asics Kiva is going to need to get by a line I lead here today. Nice front row play as Kaiser gets up again. And Kayla Kaiser is involved here early, Aaron. And we actually haven't even seen an attack from the outside because the defense and the the passing has been so sound for Kiva. They've been able to just feed her. And, it, hey, it's like if the kettle's hot, keep setting it. I mean, she's doing such a good job already in the front row. Ball goes off the arms there of McKenna Barnhart. They can't keep it in. And now A6 Kiva has scored four points in a row. Jenna Story, tremendous defensive player for this team from Louisville. Ball comes off the net, still plays in. And a good kill that time by Hannah Thompson. And again, it's not super powerful. It's just in a position that the defense has to move in like an uncomfortable direction. Super deep, a little bit higher up. She doesn't know if she should come in, take that ball overhead, or reach out and go outside of her body line to make the dig. This Illini team knows that they need an A-plus effort to win here today because this other team from Louisville, they are high-powered. Kaiser with another kill. Kaiser really with that big smile, trying to relax her teammates. There's a big crowd, Aaron, on hand. Very enthusiastic crowd here at the HP Fieldhouse. Energy running high on both sides. Oh, what a block. That time, 13 and 43. Micah Allison and Hannah Clayton teaming up. And Micah Allison is one of those players, we're going to say her name a lot, but look how far over she presses that right hand. That's the most susceptible hand as you block, so she's pushing it back into the court. That ball slams on the ground. Big time plays. We're seeing her here early in this first game. And tell you what, this Illini Elite team, they're going to need some plays like that, I think, to get by. Need a little bit of luck on their side here today. And I think Kiva, just from watching Micah warm up, they think that she's going to take a rip on the ball, and the first swing she has is actually a roll shot. Nice dig that time, and a heads-up play by Clayton. Young lady headed to Iowa with the tip. And that play is so well executed because the setter has is already out of position, so the libero would have to come in and try to make a play, and it's just it's harder for them to make that. So really good heads-up play by Hannah Clayton. Back row now. Nice dig by Barnhart. Now Barnhart comes right back. Libero gets in on it. And now the lefty. How about that swing from Mike Allison? And you see, you see that often at this age. You have the lefties always playing right, hand si right side. You see that at the college level as well. It's just because they have a better angle of attack on that swing. And it's a very favored favored hand to be attacking from on the right hand side Allison again that one too tough to handle and I'll tell you what she could be the difference got that big left handed swing Micah Allison going to Auburn very smart player calculating here is Illini Elite has come back and now they're on top 8-6 another point so right now Illini Elite is rolling and we got our first time out of the match. Both of our coaches are mic'd here today. Ball behind because she likes to do this one. Okay? So don't leave early. You take the ball behind. We've got our two hitters. You get your inside hand on 33. We're over-exaggerating blocking cross a little bit, and we're being inconsistent, and we're floating and drifting too much. Just focus on inside hand, low, over the net, on the ball. Okay? That's our point of focus. And middle backs, we just need a freaking scrap place every single time we touch every single ball. Let's go. Aaron, this is a team that has been here before, and I know you've been on teams that have gotten close and close and have not fully conquered that mountaintop. Coach Aaron's 
wants to win this so badly for her club. And talking about the 10%, the minute details in that huddle, not even actual overall strategy. It's those little things that are going to be the differentiator. And I love, she probably was a middle blocker, and I love that she brings that side to the game. High energy here in game one. Moore keeps it off the ground. Other side, Story does the same. Back row, little tap. And a good-looking point here, won by Illini Elite. And Hannah Thompson coming out of that middle back, making that perfect play to run that middle in transition. You want to give the ball to Hannah Clayton because she's working her tail off, moving laterally, and she's right there at that point. Perfect set, perfect execution. A6 keep a little bit on their heels here in game one. They came out on a roll, roaring out of the gates. But Illini Elite has found something, and right now they are working it. And you see at the collegiate level as well, the teams that activate the middle and use the middles in transition usually come out on top just because they have one more opportunity to score, one more person to put the ball on the floor, and good passing helps them do that. Nice kill that time by Allison Cathy going to Western Kentucky. She has a very heavy arm, and you see how high she gets. She likes to hit the ball at its highest point. Bella Bowman. Now will serve for A6 Kiva. Trailing by seven. Tough play that time. As you saw, Allison get airborne, kind of ran out of room. And now two straight for Alina Lee. There you take a look at Allison Cathy again. And that's a back row not communicating. Hey, you have a new blocker in the front row. Bigger, probably more disciplined. You cannot tip right into it. You have to try to go over and deep into the corners. This one goes down. Mike Allison again. And I'm really excited about this matchup between Allison on the Illini Elite side and Allison Kathy on the Akiva side. I think that this is just going to be a good scrap outside kind of who's going to be the banger, who's going to get the majority of the swings and blocks against one another. First service there of the match. Who is the greater Allison? Would yeah, you say? exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, so many great athletes we've seen over the past week here at the AAU. Junior National Volleyball Championships. Great to have you with us. That one goes down, and right now, Illini Elite hitting at a very high percentage, swinging confidently. Grace Cleveland up front. And I'd love to see that she's going to Purdue. Purdue is a very, very middle-driven team in the collegiate level. They love to have their middles activated. So far, she's done such a great job in the front row, and I'd love to see that that's kind of where her career is going to take her. Five-point lead for Illini Lee. Kathy, this time, able to dig it. Kathy again, want to get her involved as much as possible. Here's Barnhart, and this one finds a spot in the corner. Great play by McKenna Barnhart. And Allison Kathy had two huge rips in that, in that, um, in that play. She went sharp cross court, number 10. McKenna Barnhart got the dig, then she had another one deep in the seam. Hannah Thompson dug it perfectly. Great execution by Barnhart. Another service there, so side out to A6 Kiva. Sarah Petkovich also works for the University of Louisville. Husband is also an assistant coach on this A6 Kiva team. That one was it touched, did go long, and it was not. Will be a point. For A6 Kiva, 15-11. Here's Newkirk. That one won at the net. Newkirk able to get up high. And people think that that play isn't designed. She actually went up there with the intention to go off the hands. You can even tell as she's facing the, the block, she's almost facing out of bounds to try to tool those hands, and it's the perfect shot in volleyball. Marcus. Not coming back this time. Kayla Kaiser started out the game so hot. And now trying to reignite her play once again. Five kills already for Kayla. Tapped over by Newkirk. Demarcus plays it near her. That's a tremendous kill by Ali Stumler. 
And if you've had the last few attacks on your side, like Kiva had, has had blocked a little bit, you have to speed up the offense. If you can't beat them with height, you have to beat them with speed. So almost adding a little bit more tempo that freed that ball up for Ali Stumler to just crunch on that ball. Good opportunity here for A6 Kiva. And a couple good possessions now back to back. Allison. That one's dug by Demarcus. Story. Tough set that time. That one just got away. And A6 Kiva within two. And we've seen the longer rallies actually go in the favor of the Illini Elite just because they've had a little bit better ball control. So a much needed rally point for Kiva in that last that last point. And they're starting to dig just about everything. Defense starting to get caught up with their offense here. Stumbler. This one put down oh, again. No, kept alive. How the heck does Illini Elite not allow that to hit the floor and they do it again Kaiser's had a couple good swings back to back and finally A6 Kiva will score and now they're within one and setters aren't necessarily known to be the best defenders on the court but so far number 13 Micah Allison has gotten both digs huge digs out of the right back and great heads up playing by her team but Absolutely great finish by this Kiva team, finding the seam in the court, forcing the defense to scramble just a little.